having sex anymore. The thing is, it reached a point na yung woman was also a senior na rin eh, no? Na, you know, she wanted to have it, but ayaw na nung lalaki. I mean, out of mind na, out of sight na. I mean, as far as sex was concerned, wala na sa lalaki. In fact, they were, sleep, they were sleeping separately. They have two separate rooms. Doon lang, makikita mo iba na talaga. Anyway, just to give in to, to the wife, no? Kasi sabi ng wife, come on, let's see a, a marriage counselor and all that. So they, they, they had to go out of town, no? They had to go out of town to go to where this marriage counselor uh, stayed, no? And uh, to talk about the problem nila. Anyway, nag-surface yung problem. Ang problem na, 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 na meron yung lalaki was that she had been rejected by the wife, no? Way back. Because of the hurts that accumulated because of that rejection when he wanted to have or engage in it, nag-accumulate na, parang it backfired. I mean, it has uh, stayed on sa, sa consciousness niya. And sabi niya ganyan, I, because of this, talagang to my mind, ayaw na ng wife ko to have sex. So it, they were not, because of this, parang nagbagong perception ng lalaki. No? And only when it surfaced, did the uh, things begin? Uh, did things begin to 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 be resolved no, between them? So anyway, just to just to share with you that 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 particular point. No? It's really important that this matter or the concerns you have as a couple uh, uh, be uh, surface no? and be discussed. Anyway, I'd like to continue. No, uh, as as we relate, no, as lovers, as we relate as lovers, men. No? Men, don't rush. Don't rush the love-making act. Okay? Sita sabi ni Beri kanina na, na ano, no? yung one thing in mind, no? yung, yung mga lalaki. No? We want to reach the climax and then that's it. Tendency, the tendency. I'm not saying all men, but, but the tendency because of our, our, our physical makeup, ganyan talaga. I mean, the, the pleasure is derived no? when you reach the climax. But don't rush. When I say don't rush, I mean, uh, try to one, you, I'm not just talking about the act itself, but the act prior to the act. Meaning, in preparation, see to it that the woman is in, a, is in the proper mood. No? I mean, if you're the type na you're very imaginative, very creative, you can put on music, good music, no? Sa be a bedroom, or maybe even before you go to the bedroom, you can, you, you can give her wine, no? You're, so basically, yung to, to, to help lessen the stress no, that the woman may be experiencing for the day, especially kung napakahaba ng araw, di ba? And then, if you, you're the type na who would like to or like, uh, maybe watch um, uh, what do you call this, yung mga love stories, I mean, in, in, the, in, in the movies, no? I mean, wholesome, wholesome, hindi X-rated. So, di ba, just to set her in the good mood. In my, in, in, our, in our case, I mean, very enjoys watching ito mga Tagalog, no? Tagalog, uh, Tagalog uh, movies, no? Yan, Bea Alonso and uh, John Lloyd, yan. Sarah Hironomo Hiron and John Lloyd. Ako, I, well, ako, I'm not too particular about that, no? Pero as I was watching, ako na, gusto na dahang ko rin. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yan, I can talk to you about second chance, no? <laughs> so, yung ganun ba? And then we, we get a laugh, no? And it's, the sex to us is not serious. It's not a serious matter, but it is a fun thing. Not only for me, but for, for her as well. It's a pleasant experience. So men, try to make it a pleasant experience, not only for you, but for your spouse. And you can see the result it will have. You will see that the woman will even look for it. So you don't rush, don't rush. Tune in to the needs, no, of the woman. Tune in to the needs. Ah, pag sinabi ko needs, perhaps, may mga conflicts ba kayo? Yung pagtampo, may tampo ang kayo, di pagkakaunawaan, even before you engage in it. Kung ganitong, kung ganitong set, kung ganitong situation, siyempre, mindset ng asawa nyo, ano ba naman to? Nakipag-away lang kanina to, kahapon to, and then itong gusto niya, eh, bakit mo pagbibigyan to? So, may ganong klaseng effect, no? 
So you, you tune in to the needs. May isa pang need ng baba, ng, ng, ng wife, no? It could be that she has concerns about the budget, no? Medyo kukulangin yung budget because there, you know, there are unforeseen expenses. So, siyempre nga sa isip ito ng babae, dinadala niya rin ito, no? Into the bedroom. And so, that her desire is dampened. Desire is dampened. Resolve conflicts, well, yun, di pagkakaunawa, no? So, women need to be loved. They, they need to feel that they're loved. So, men, be conscious of this, no? Be conscious of this. So, uh, I would like to show you this picture. Okay? This is an amplifier, no? It's an amplifier. Okay, ginagamit itong amplifier na to to improve the sound. This microphone, para klaro, malinaw na malinaw. Naintindihan niyo yung sinasabi ko. Pero itong amplifier na to medyo complicated. Why? There are 19 dials that you have to turn and one, two big ones. Bawat isang dial yan, dapat, bawat isang knob yan, dapat tinitimpla nyo. Para ang boses ko, hindi biyak, hindi basag, no? Hindi naman yung parang may echo. Yung, yung ganun ba? Hindi masyado matinis. Yung, these things, ganyan ang amplifier. Ngayon, ang ating asawa, ang wives natin, ganyan din. Ganyan din. Hindi mo po pwede yung, yung flick yung on switch and then, boy, she's hot. No, she's desiring your body. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to work at it. So, titimplahin mo rin yan. Ganun din tayo. Ganun din tayo. Ako. Okay. So, yun, no? Uh, so, you have to work at the romance. Alright. Now, we will go into our second exercise. Si Raynor, pala yung tawa. I'm sure you, you must be there. Okay. So, so, uh, Amplifier mo. Alright. And he was also a good communicator. Yung brother ko na yan. So, anyway. Uh, Okay. Okay, wait. It's your turn. Sorry. <laughs> Hindi naman 19 factors. For good sake. Siguro mga 3 lang. 4. 4. Number 1. Yung hindi, for those who have older children, yung hindi kayo mahuhuli. Eh, di ba? Kung mga... Kung you are sleeping with so many in your room, syempre, mahal ang, ang, ang electricity, di ba? Tapos, parang at one point, there's one couple that did a very good thing. At a certain age, sinabihan na nila yung anak nila, anak, hindi ka na pwedeng matulog dito. It's very good for the marriage, I think, to have that. Number one, what kang mahuhuli. We want really exclusive privacy, no? Nakakatakot yung hindi ka sure di bubukas ng, ng ilaw, ng pinto. Ang, nakaka-turn off talaga yan. Number two, maganda ni music. Number three, maganda mabango na ha. <laughs> yun, yun. Maganda kung bagong ligo. Yun. Discover ways to unlock the garden. In other words, maganda rin sa ating mga babae na nag-experiment, nag-change ang setting, nag-change costume. It just makes it more fun. That's the bottom line. You can have fun with one another. No? Number two, I think this is ground rule. Accept your own and your partner's body. Ang kabaligtaran nito is no making fun of each other's body, whatever state. I think especially for women, yung nabuntis ka na, ang taba-taba mo after pregnancy, nagkasakit ka, ang payat-payat mo, yung tumaba ka, pumayat ka, it's really very good for the men not to mention on that. No? Kung hindi, Oh, I'm now talking to the baby. If you dare say something about a woman's body, naka-imprenta yan. Naka-imprenta yan sa brain namin. And that clicks at the wrong time when you don't want it to click. So better be very diplomatic when you talk about each other's body. Last, exploration never really ends because 
names change over time. I think there was one movie na ang ganda-ganda ng scene. Uh, they've been married a long time and then they end up in a bar and they're pretending to be picking up each other. It's fun, di ba? Just new ways to refresh your marriage. Jeremy, I think you're too young for this. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right. Uh, really, again, uh, fourth item: work at romance. No? Work at romance. Again, I'm talking to. Uh, good afternoon, Doc. You're talking to Doc. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, work at romance. Use romance as a transition from reality to intimacy. Basically, ang sinasabi lang naman dyan is that uh, it's hard for both, uh, you know, for the women particularly, it may be very hard to be very intimate, no? to feel uh, to feel relaxed no? after she's had a very long and tiring day. So, again, I'm asking the, the, the men no, to be very uh, uh, conscious of this. No? Prepare. Prepare her for that intimate moment that you will have. Be romantic, again, be romantic. I think you know what the language of love of your of your spouse is. You know? If the language of love is that you, you know you talk to her first you know, before you do that, then do so. If she's the type na medyo mahilig na nakakatanggap na ano, magiging karigalo, no? I mean, if you have the means, do so. No? If it's a, the, the, if her language of love is, you know, hearing, words that, that affirm her or that make her feel good, then do so. And then, it's also a way of conveying or imparting the message that you care for her, you appreciate her, you love her. So work at romance, no? <clears throat> and it's also an antidote, no? To mechanical sex. Yung sinasabi nga ni Berry na pagpasok sa kwarto, aalisin mo yung, yung damit mo, tapos then you will engage, engage in the act. That's mechanical sex. That's mechanical sex. So, and uh, I assure you, I mean, yeah, it won't be, you know, you'll, you'll feel robbed, no? Kumbaga, ninakawa ka. It's not fulfilling. It's not that fulfilling. And then, learn the art of seduction and arousal. Basically, ang sinasabi lang naman dyan is that you, you think of what would make your partner feel good. No? And uh, it's also good, no? After, say, you reach the climax, no? Of the act. It's good that you continue to talk. Talk to one another. Relax, no? And then just, you know, stand from the bed and go to the toilet and then, you know, finish your thing and then go back to sleep. No, that's not, I think it does not work that way. It's best that you engage your spouse, you know, in the talk. About anything, funny things. So that somehow enhances the relationship. Again, the message you impart is that, hey, you're special. Awesome. All right, so let's go to exercise two. <clears throat> now, another five minutes. Recall your most romantic moments with one another. Okay, uh, think of one, uh, one, one, one particular experience, and then you share it with the other. Two minutes from uh, for the, uh, two and a half for the woman, two and a half for the man. 